PMB is a mid to senior level program, and uh, people who come on, who are nominated for the program, very generally are subject experts. They are financial managers or HR managers or production managers. Um, they've been identified as having the potential to move towards general management. Um, and general management is a, is a very much a jack of all trades thing. Um, top managers are not subject experts anymore. They've actually become very much generalists. Um, they spend a lot of their time managing people. Management by, by definition is in managing people. You do not manage machines. Uh, and these people on PMD are being, uh, being, being groomed to get into general management roles. The role of a general manager is also very much a political one. Um, different divisions of an organization, different functions in an organization often have inherent conflicts built into them. Uh, production and marketing, for instance, or production and sales have very different interests. Sales want to have lots and lots of variety, uh, delivery yesterday. Production wants to produce eight million of the same thing. Uh, and neither of the, of the two can have their own way, because if they do, the organization is not going to survive. And the, and the, and the paradox is the, the overarching common interest of both of those people who have conflicting interests to actually see that the organization survives. So it's getting that kind of insight into the nature of the types of conflicts that, that, that can arise and, and how, to, how to deal with them. It's not a matter of a, an infallible guru standing up in front of the class and telling them what to do, to do and how to do it because not one of those infallible gurus has ever done the job that the, the participants have done. They are the people that do their job and they know whether that stuff makes sense or not. I like to see the, 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 the program as a, an opportunity for debate and discussion, testing your ideas against the ideas of peers and colleagues. Very often, often companies will send three or four people from the, at the same time, which is a very good thing, I think, uh, and a debate with a, with a presenter. And I have a, the, the semantics is important to me. I don't like to think of them as lecturers or teachers or instructors, because that's not what we're doing. They're also not facilitators, that's a little bit touchy-feely. Um, I like to call them presenters. They're there to present a topic for discussion and debate. And if the presenter cannot learn as much as the participants do from that discussion and debate, they shouldn't be there in the class in the first place. If we don't pay attention to the amount of knowledge sitting in that class, if there's 30 people sitting there, each with 10 years of management experience, there's 300 years of accumulated experience, if we ignore that, we shouldn't be in this business in the first place. I think far too many programs, people will come for a week or two weeks and then you'll have a final dinner and hand a certificate and nobody ever sees anyone else again. And I think that is very suboptimal in terms of getting a return on the investment in that, in that program. Um, so I introduced in 2000, I think it was, I introduced a post-course assignment where the, the participants get about three months, nine to 12 weeks, although it varies. Um, and they are asked to undertake a, an assignment that is relevant to what they're doing, um, that will have the support of management and that will add some kind of value to their job. The participants are, are enabled to actually put into practice something very often that they've had sitting on their shoulder for years. Oh, I'd really like to get around to doing this and this gives them the impetus to in fact, to in fact do that. It allows them to demonstrate in front of the people that invested lots of money in them that they actually got some value out of the program. Um, and in some, in, in many, many instances, um, and a lot of this has to do with the amount of support provided by senior management, uh, in many instances there have been superbly spectacular returns in the, in the, just as a result of implementing one of these projects, um, either through revenue enhancement or cost saving, I've seen returns being made of in the tens of millions of rands and tens of millions of dollars. I am a great believer in diversity um, through a lot of experience of working with diverse groups here at the, at the GSB. In a class of 35, we can, we've got up to 70% of the class has been from outside of South Africa, so in sub-Saharan Africa predominantly. We've had odd people from Malaysia, from the UAE, from Europe. 
but 99% of the participants are from Sub-Saharan Africa. Uh, anything up to 10 countries represented in the class at one time. So the, the diversity is phenomenal. If you think of the diversity in, in, a, in a group of 35 people, you'll probably have 20 different companies, 15 industries, anything up to 10 different African countries. So there's an enormous opportunity there for, for a rich exchange of, of perspectives, views, uh, attitudes, uh, methodologies, and so on and so forth. Uh, and I've seen some fairly substantial business deals being uh, <laughs> being signed on that basis as well.